Hi and welcome to the weekly update. Today we're going to look at what I've finished painting this week. We are also going to do a quick unboxing. And finally we're going to look at what brushes I use when I paint my minis. But first we have the German infantry. I have no idea who the manufacturer is. It's 28 millimeters. All metal. I was going for um, pretty early warish invasion of uh, Denmark Norway, so I might add the shield design that they had on the side of their helmets, the red, white, and black shield insignia. Maybe look at finding some decals for that or something. Yeah, but if you know who um, manufactures this, please put it in the comment section below. Just in case I want to buy more. I have maybe 20 more to paint, I think. But just in case. I'm done. Next up we have the tanning rack. I had a concept build of this that I showed last week and uh, this is how it came out when I built the proper one. So uh, all the scratch built. There should be a uh, build video on my channel also. I took some video while building it, so uh, if you want to build one of these, look at that. Next up, unboxing. So this is my warband for Burrows and Badgers. I was planning on doing a proper unboxing, but the minis were all packaged in individual Ziploc bags, so instead of looking at me trying to open these, I uh, displayed them like this instead. So this contains the uh, starter warband A. I think it's basically from here and to that side is the warband A. And then I bought some additional minis like this cat and this marmot. I'm really looking forward to painting this. Uh, I've been painting armies for quite a while now and uh, these I can paint a bit more individually and uh, I'm really looking forward to that. I have no idea if this is a good army or not. I. Uh, tend not to really care about that so uh, I just went with uh, a starter warband and some minis that I thought looked cool okay next up brushes so here we have an example of the brushes I use when I paint my minis going from the most used down here to the least used up here. So my most used brush is an AK Interactive size 2. This one I use to paint all my... Uh, basically the first layer after the primer. So for instance if we take a German soldier all the uh, uniform, all the uh, base tone of the skin, helmet, boots, all of that. The first layer of the mini is painted with, with this one. Also, um, 
all the washes and such I use this one if I'm doing details I use the uh, regimental brush so looking at the example again all the straps and uh, highlights and such I have used the regimental brush if I'm doing detailed work I use the detail brush this one is a uh, no name synthetic brush that I got from a local hobby store I think it costs one fourth of the army painter brushes so it's very cheap I use this for dry brushing bases most of my terrain work I use brush on primers so uh, when I prime I use this one also and then finally a army painter small dry brush I don't do a lot of dry brushing as you can see from the tip but uh, I use it sometimes I do try and always use the biggest brush that I can get away with and also using thin down paints um, I don't think working only with a detail brush or a regimental brush would really work for me I, when I used to paint I used I painted with the uh, Games Workshop fine detail and that was basically the whole mini and that took forever so uh, now a couple of years ago I re-evaluated and went with the uh, biggest brush that I can get away with for each step and that speed sped up my uh, painting a lot so uh, yeah, if you want to speed up your painting a bit, I would suggest moving away from all these tiny, more expensive brushes and grab something a bit larger in size. Okay, that was everything from me this week. See you on Sunday. Mm -hmm.